In 2014, under its previous president, Kama, the African country of Botswana imposed a nationwide ban on sport hunting, with the exception of a few privately owned game reserves. Pressure from anti-hunting groups and financial support for the ban from various NGOs with their own financial agendas resulted in this ill-advised political decision. It is now clear that this decision is at odds with the previous science-based and historically effective wildlife management policies of Botswana. The animal at the heart of this ongoing debate is the African elephant. Recent scientific counts put Botswana's elephant population at 130,000 animals. And with the influx of animals from neighboring elephant-rich countries, that number may, at times, approach 200,000. It should be noted that 70% of Botswana's elephants live outside designated parks and game reserves. What is important to note, however, is that Botswana has, at a minimum, 76,000 elephants over the country's carrying capacity. The hunting ban, combined with the dangerously out-of-balance national elephant herd, has significantly increased the conflict with local communities affected by what they see as destructive and dangerous wild neighbors. Increased crop damage and threat to human life continue to undermine human economic activities of Botswana's rural citizens. And since the 2014 hunting ban was imposed, gone are the substantial safari hunting dollars and significant employment opportunities that the citizens of Botswana previously enjoyed. But good news may be on the horizon. To address this critical issue, Botswana's current president, President Masisi, along with the minister Makaila, took action and established a cabinet subcommittee to study the hunting ban and the social dialogue over its future. On February 21st, the subcommittee released its recommendations. This list of proposals included one, lifting of the hunting ban, two, development of a legal framework that will create an enabling environment for growth of a safari hunting industry, and three, management of Botswana's elephant population within its historic range. Dallas Safari Club and the DSC Foundation applaud President Masisi and his appointed committee for not only recognizing the problems the 2014 hunting ban created, but taking actions that will ultimately benefit both the rural people and the wildlife of Botswana. We look forward to working closely with the government of Botswana as they address the future of their wildlife and the proven benefits of the conservation through hunting model.